Hello there, my name is Francois in French, Frank in English, or Francois in Japan, and I'm about to get exposed. My talent is obvious, check it out. When I was about uh, zero years old, you know, uh, me was born French. Uh, but then, ah, me uh, grew big and bigger and uh, started uh, watching porn, you know. Uh, that is where I got my English. Uh, but, you know, in porn, the dialogue is very low. Uh, less talk, more action. Um, just like the early uh, Schwarzenegger movies, you know. But you may understand why my English is a little bit limited edition. <laughs> At least we understood each other. That's good. I was uh, in Toronto about uh, one calendar ago there. Um, and I was looking for uh, the Hooters. And uh, me was lost and uh, asked a Torontonian for a uh, hotel's direction. Uh, the friendly English person told me it's around two blocks away from the strip mall. I said, what? You guys have strip malls? Back at home we have, you know, strip club. And you guys have a strip mall? Holy Frenchman, I thought I was in heaven. And then I discovered it was just a regular mall, you know. So I went back to the hotel's. Lost my mind for a moment there. One thing I never uh, understood there from the English human is, uh, you know how English mother call their son Dick? Just for your intellectual uh, pleasure there, a penis in French is a penis. Okay? No French mama never call their son penis. Never. Me remember about uh, four calendar ago there. First time, first time outside my French city, I went for uh, Vancouver there, little trip. Uh, so me went in the restaurant and uh, ordered a burger. Uh, the guy with the pen and paper come and told me, "Okay, sir, what kind of burger would you like?" And he tell me all the burger, and uh, I said, "Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get the rare burger, rare burger." So he come back with the plate and. Uh, the burger was alive, tabernak. The meat was so red, I was barely cooked. I me, I thought, you know, a rare burger, it would be from Alaska or North Pole. No, no, the meat was alive. I never put foot in Vancouver again, never.